this is video number five. The, these videos have been really long. I, I apologize. I am redoing them. I, I hope I get, like, I can use these for more than one semester. Uh, just to, fixing the captioning will be interesting enough. Okay. Um, so let's talk about digestion. When we eat fat, we're mostly eating triglycerides, and we really can't eat triglycerides. They're too big. So we have to break them down into the, you know, the, you know if, if that's the parent, the kids are the fatty acids, right? The, the three legs of the triglyceride. Um, and one of the things we know that, at least from chapter three, what we have to use is bile. So let me, let me show you how this works. Here's fat coming into the small intestine, right? Remember, fat floats. So fat, you know, chyme has already come in. We've neutralized the chyme with pancreatic juice, which has base. Here comes the fat. That's when the gallbladder releases the bile. They actually call it bile salts. These are, these are, it's not, it's more complicated than just being called bile, but whatever. And what the bile does, the bile's not an enzyme. It actually gets into the fat and kind of coats the fat with bile on the outside. So these big giant globs or glob, which is just monstrous, becomes pellets or droplets. And the droplets are about the right size for enzymes to chop up. And another way to look at it, look at it is this way. Here's the fat, if it just came into the small intestine. Here's the pancreatic enzymes. I mean, the best you could do, I guess, is just nibble away, right? But if you add bile, you can make all these little baby droplets, which have to be the right size for the enzyme. Isn't this a great slide? This is actually from, a, I think, a sports which, oh, maybe a biology book I had years ago. What a great slide. Um, so what you end up having is uh, uh, the enzyme at the same place where the fat and the bile is. And what the enzyme does is not like disintegrate the fatty acid legs. All the enzyme does, pancreatic lipase, is snip off two legs. So triglyceride is the parent. It's kind of like a stool with three legs, fatty acid chains. It snips off two of them. So you get two fatty acids and a monoglyceride. And those are just small enough to be taken into the cells of the small intestine. If it, if it was a triglyceride, too big. But it's just small enough to be absorbed. And as soon as it gets into that one cell layer in the small intestine, we, re, we remake it into a triglyceride. The best example I can think of is, this is your like your friend's couch, and they're going to give you a great leather couch, but it's too dang big to get into your apartment. So you take the legs off the couch, bring it into your apartment, put the legs back on. Now it's too big to get out, right? Same kind of thing. Same kind of thing. So then the problem is you now have absorbed your fat. Uh, you reassembled it as triglycerides after you disassembled it using pancreatic lipase. But then what do you do with it? How do you get the fat from the small intestine to the rest of the body, it's not water soluble. Isn't blood, salt, water, pretty much? You package it. Fat gets packaged in the small intestine into a particle called a chylomicron. Here's the wording. This is a giant beach ball. It's, for a cellular thing, it's really big. Chylomicrons are made in the small intestine. We pack triglyceride from our diet, cholesterol from our diet, fatty fatty vitamins from our diet. We stick it in the calomicron. It leaves like a giant aircraft carrier and cruises around the body for, you know, eight hours dropping off fat. If you were to take a blood sample after somebody just ate in and out, like an hour after they ate in and out, right when calomicrons are hitting the bloodstream, this is blood before you ate your in and out. This is blood after you ate your in and out. Folks, that's not like, fat that's a billion little particles of chylomicrons kind of just floating around in the water or in the serum of the plasma rather um it's scary you know these don't cause heart disease they're, they're just too big but to see that i've, I've, I've seen my own blood like this before it, it is kind of scary you know but th this is natural right and then these will cruise around for eight hours dropping off fat and, and cholesterol and vitamin a and vitamin d and then they essentially they're giant big balls they just kind of get the here it is and just get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and when it's small enough, it's taken up by the liver and disassembled. But the key is your dietary fat is made in the small intestine. Here we go. There it is, eight to 10, let's say six to eight hours. And by the time you've shipped it all off and absorbed it everywhere, 
it's small, it's taken back by the liver. That's dietary fat, chylomicron. That's not the same as fat that you make or cholesterol that you make in the liver. That's kind of different. Those are shipped from the liver to the body. Now, you, you probably have heard of the LDL. Like people call that bad cholesterol. It's not bad. It's just a shipping container, kind of like the chylomicron, but this one's made in the liver. And it's actually made as a thing called the LDL. Here it is. Here's my VLDL. There's fat triglyceride that I made in the liver. There's cholesterol I made in the liver. There's phospholipid, which is on the outside. There's protein, a little couple of protein molecules that says, hey, look at me, I made in the liver. And then this, this leaves uh, the liver, starts dropping off fat, then becomes an LDL. This cruises around for, let's say two days, dropping off cholesterol, dropping off the remaining fat. And then the LDL, becomes empty, we call that a remnant, and it's taken up by the liver. This is how you ship fat that you make in the liver to the body. This is how a UPS van drops off stuff from UPS that you got on Amazon to the Sacramento Valley. And at the end of the day, it's empty, it goes back to the warehouse. Now, there are other people who have things that they bought that they wanna to return to Amazon, right? That's kinda of like what we call the, the good cholesterol, the HDL made in the liver, goes out empty, empty UPS van, and does all the pickups, and comes back at six o'clock in the afternoon to the UPS facility full. And if you look at the HDL, look, it's mostly just protein, phospholipid, and a little bit of stuff. This will get bigger as time goes on, while the LDL gets smaller. So fat that you eat goes in a chylomicron from your small intestine to your body, eight hours, gets small, so small, taken up by the liver dietary fat, endogenous, made in the body, goes out as the LDL, comes back empty, or that's shipping out, or going to do pickup, dead cells, wherever there might be extra cholesterol and fat that needs to go back to the liver, that gets shipped in the HDL. So LDL out, HDL back. They literally call this trafficking, and that's how fat shipping and digestion works in the body.